Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. What we're going to do today is look at needle stick and sharp injuries. Needle stick injuries are where you have been hurt by a needle used on someone which could potentially pass an infection onto you or someone else. Sharps injuries are basically the same but caused by other medical sharps which can include things like um, scalpels, lancets or broken glass or equipment. Getting hurt by sharps that have not been in contact with someone else causes pain, bleeding and in some cases can cause other injuries depending on how the body has been cut. This alone needs to be avoided and by correct handling and disposal. When the sharp has been used on someone then it cuts someone else, the hazard is much higher as the body fluids can be passed on to and effectively injected into the second person and then passed into their bloodstream infecting that person. Potentially hazardous needle sticks and sharps can be found in many industries including the healthcare sector, dentist, tattoo, beauty and other sectors like breakdown and recovery of vehicles, cleaning companies, hotels and many more. Anywhere illegal drug use has happened then needles left lying around can also pose a risk. If you pierce or puncture your skin with a used needle follow this first aid advice immediately. Encourage the wound to bleed ideally holding it under running water. Wash the wound using running water and plenty of soap. Don't scrub the wound while you're washing it. Don't suck the wound. And finally, dry the wound and cover it with a waterproof dressing or plaster. You should also seek urgent medical advice by going to the nearest accident and emergency department or contact your employer's occupational health service if you injure yourself at work. The healthcare professional treating you will assess the risk to your health and ask you about the injury and conduct tests like blood tests and give you advice on what the next stages are. If it's possible and with consent, the healthcare professional may also test the person's blood that was on the needle stick or sharp. If your healthcare professional thinks you're a low risk of infection, you may not need any treatment, but if the risks are higher, you may have to have antibiotic treatment vaccination against hepatitis B or treatment to prevent HIV. If there's a high risk of infection with HIV, your healthcare professional may consider treatment called post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP.